Watch this video and help to reduce the risk of bovine TB on your farm. Badgers have been shown to play an important role in spreading TB to cattle. The Department of Agriculture reduces the risk by vaccinating badgers against TB and by removing them when it is deemed necessary for disease reasons. We need your cooperation to help reduce the risk of TB infection from badgers. It is important for you to walk your land and familiarise yourself with signs indicative of badger activity. If you identify a badger set on your land, please contact your local Department of Agriculture office and ask to speak to the wildlife officer. The presence of badgers can be identified by the following characteristics. Badgers root in pasture searching for tubers, bulbs, worms and larvae, especially leather jackets. They often overturn cow paths. They form small pits about 12 centimetres in diameter called snuffle holes where they search for food. Badgers primarily stay on the same paths which will become well worn. These paths are 15 to 20 centimetres in width. In wet areas such as around gateways and drinking troughs, badger footprints can sometimes be visible. The footprint consists of a broad kidney-shaped pad with four, or sometimes all five, of the toes being evident in a straight line in the print. Badger sets are predominantly found in hedgerows, ring forts, scrubland and riverbanks. Badgers will excavate a set in almost any location where there is an available food source. The initial indication of the presence of a badger set are openings adjacent to a large spoil heap. A spoil heap is where the clay has been dug out by the badger. There may be some rocks or stones amongst the clay. Badger sets can have more than one entrance. These entrances will be a minimum of 25 centimetres in diameter, whereas a rabbit burrow may have a wide opening. However, the chamber itself quickly narrows to less than 15 centimetres. The presence of hay-like bedding at or adjacent to the set entrance is a definite sign that it is a badger set. A latrine pit is where a badger digs a small hole and defecates into it and leaves it uncovered. Latrines are generally found either close to a set or at the boundary of a badger's territory, often on hedgerows or ditches. It is strongly recommended that all badger sets are fenced off to avoid direct and indirect contact between cattle and badgers. This will also prevent cattle from sniffing possibly infected bedding material. All water feeding and mineral licks should be in raised troughs. Don't feed meal on the ground. The residues are very attractive for wildlife. It is important to be biosecure around the farmyard and to prevent opportunistic access from badgers. Reduce the risk of badgers entering animal housing, meal and fodder storage areas. Close meal storage sheds fully consider installing roller doors. Apply sheets to your gates to make them impenetrable. Yards can also be fenced off with electric or mesh fencing to deter badgers. So remember, look for badger activity, protect your stock, and tell the department's wildlife officers where the sets are. Following these guidelines, will help to reduce the risk of bovine TB infection from badgers on your farm. And together we will work towards eliminating TB.